the silent warrior who stands where land meets horizon, steadfast and unshakable. A city on a hill lit for all to see. A poem written using every word of every language of every country in the world. He is a bead of light floating in the dark oil of night. For he is the very vessel of our freedom, the champion of the 4th of July. And he will fight until he is the last man standing on the dirt-covered surface of the earth. For his cause is the cause of victory. His cause is the cause of one nation under God, indivisible. The number one ranked eater in the world. 74 hot dogs and buns the Nathan's famous hot dog eating champion of the world, Joey Jester! He will bend time itself until history unfolds to his purpose. He has God's username and password and he does with it what he chooses. The rock on which he stands is not a rock. It is the United States of America! From five, four, three, two, one, begin! We are off in the 103rd iteration of the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest. Joey Chestnut, the man to beat, said he used to be like Verlander, right? He'd come out throwing 100 in the first, didn't right. have any gas in the tank late. Now he's decided to even out his pace, and he's got way more in the tank late in the game. No doubt. Not the Verlander of 2013. <laughs> Latter-day Vandler, uh, unbelievable athlete. Should be amazing. What a crowd out here. Americans of all striped their visitors from abroad, celebrating the dream of independence once again on the corner of Surf and Still Road. Well, Matt Stoney off to an excellent start. Matt Suzuki and Matt Stoney right near the top. You see the early back and forth of Joey Chestnut already with six hot dogs and buns. Matt Stoney won it in 2015. The conditions were tough that day. He was able to take advantage a minute in. Chestnut and Stoney, one and two. I love this event. Yeah, you know, we got to remember as Americans and sports fans, there's so much to be thankful for. The hot dog, the ice cold beer, the cutting wit of Drew McGarry. Rachel McAdams in any film, really, I'm Absolutely. thankful for. Notebook A little emptiness, though, with uh, without without Badlands, Lefevre, Eric the Red, and, and legs on that stage, and no Sonya earlier, but it's a changing of the guard. Well, one of our uh, favorite people is Melanie Collins, not only because she does a great job, but because she is in the splash zone, Melanie. The best spot, Adam. They say that the most rewarding shower a person can take is after spending 10 minutes in this area called the splash zone or the spray zone. This is the area where spectators are in danger of being hit with flying debris, and the only people in a more uncomfortable spot than this might be the eaters themselves. In fact, yesterday we spoke to Joey Chestnut. He told us he's taken up yoga this year in an effort to help himself breathe better in uncomfortable positions. So something to keep an eye on with him. He said his flow is much more smooth with his eating style. Adam, back to you. You don't think about the technique, the physical technique that you have to worry about, but that's why if you watch that 30 for 30, you talk to other competitors, they understand why Chestnut has change the game because of his dedication physically. 22. I mean, the dogs out of the gate are crazy. It's like runs in that uh, that Red Sox-Yankees debacle. It's like, over, it's like over London, London all over again. It's just uh, the DPMs are off the hook. I mean, what if he eats 75? What if he eats 80? What if, what if he if, hits that number? Right? My wife always says, stop with the what ifs, you know? I mean, what if... Uh, <laughs> what if the Red Sox had relievers is my least, latest complaint. <laughs> what if Cardi B married uh, Connor, Connor Overs? Would that mean that... Phoebe Bridgers is touring with Offset. I don't have all the answers. I have a lot of questions. So the B in Cardi B would be for Bright Eyes. Right, 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 right. Mary Connor over. Look at that incredible pace. 10 per minute. That's a 100 dog pace. Obviously, he's not going to be able to keep that up the entire time, but an incredible run for Chestnut. Esper breeded, both sitting at 2 and 3, tied at 20. Joey is unbelievable, man. One of a kind. He charts his own course. And he said this is about the range he wanted to be in. About five right. minutes in, if you're around 40 to 50 dogs, you're in great position. He's just out of the ordinary, man. Wow. It's just, it's otherworldly, man. Joey Chestnut. 
So now that pace is going to slow a little bit, but because he got off to such an even and strong pace, you know he feels confident to finish out the win. The question is, can he get the record again? It's uh, it's almost not a question. It's a question I can answer here just uh, a little after halfway through. I think yes. <laughs> Again, count per minute. It's a 10 minute contest, so that's an 85 and a half dog pace for Joey Chestnut, pushing himself forth. The conditions are not conducive necessarily. It is hot. He's talked to us about that in the past. It's worked against him. He feels confident and strong, even despite the temperatures and the humidity. Those, those teeth of his just grinding the hot dogs. I mean, he's a guy who sets his own course. As I said, he resists the daily grind. Interestingly, I was out in San Jose a couple years with me, brought me to a coffee shop called the Daily Grind. They make an amazing flat white. Solid, solid. Did they do the little heart with the milk, too? Because that's my favorite part. The, the, uh, the, the leaf. Suzuki floating around number five, but this is a dominant performance by Chestnut. It is not a question of if he's going to win at 12. It is now a question of where he's going to end up at the end of 315. And the fans that came out from all around the world, not just here in Brooklyn and New York City and the Tri-State, all around the world indeed, they are not going to be disappointed. They may see history made. We may see a new world record. He's got 49 world records, including hot dogs and buns, which he set five times. Usually salmon for dinner around Sunday night, protein shake Monday, then liquids. He fasts two days before the hot dog eating contest. Stoney, 33 dogs and buns. Esper, 35. Breeden sitting in second, shy of 40. But it's Joey Chestnut's run in front of 35,000 plus. Joey looking for another title. It would be 12. He already has more Nathan's titles of his own than the combined Masters wins. A Greg Norman, Johnny Miller, and Lee Trevino. Admittedly, none of those guys ever won the Masters, but I just thought the point was to be made that Joey is better at eating hot dogs than the Sharks is playing at golf. I want to compare cholesterol levels at the end of this <laughs> as well for all four of them. Still on a solid pace. It's a world record pace as of right now. Still two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Do we get 15? The DPMs are there, I know that. The pace is there. Approaching two minutes remaining. There's no secret. I love to eat. I love doing it. I love to win. So I had to figure out my body and push it to the limit. That's Joey Chestnut in his own words talking about how he continues to elevate his game. He is continuing this world record pace. 63 now unofficial to 39. Stoney with 36. I mean, this is a yeet-worthy moment. I'm not gonna yeet because I don't want to be accused of having yeeted. You just did yeet. That was Adam. That wasn't me. It was not Bridge. It's I that yote out here, though, man. <laughs> Again, that pace. Can he keep it up? He's got 85 seconds left. Breeden trying to put, to, uh, put together his best finish at number two here at Nathan's. He's got 45. He's got a five-dog lead on the rest of the field, but it's Joey Chestnut with 70 seconds left and 65 hot dogs and buns. He's way out in front. Yes, it is not a question anymore. It's gonna be a dozen. One minute to go. Esper still battling for second place. Joey Chestnut, can he get the world record pace in the final 50 seconds? No one's touching Joey right now. He's the GOAT. He's so GOAT that people are starting to call other greats the Joey, like Michael Jordan is the Joey of basketball. Brady's the Joey of football. Matthew LeBlanc, of course, the Joey of friends. He is truly. But Joey Chestnut is the greatest ever. He is the joke. He is the Joeyest of all time. He is the only man to ever consume 70 hot dogs and buns here at Nathan's. He's done it now three times. They're waiting to see if he finishes it off and does it again. Looking to become a four-time 70 dog consumer. Unbelievable. Nobody has done it better. Nobody has done it with greater consumption. Nobody's stomach has lasted as long as Joey's. It's a dirty dozen for Chestnut, number 12 at Nathan's. Ladies and gentlemen of the world, look on his works, ye mighty and despair. He has surpassed the kings of Egypt. There is nothing in this earth that is not now a monument to this man. With 71 hot dogs and buns, 12 victories in Coney Island, the champion of the world, Joey 
Joey, congratulations on your 12th belt in your fourth straight. But when you walked up to me, you were disappointed in your 71 dog effort. Why? Oh, it's just, uh, I was going for 75. I always love to get a new record. You look at everybody out here, they uh, they wanted a record, and uh, they're, they're out here standing in the heat. But um, we'll see. Yeah, hopefully next year I'll come back and I'll strategize and I'll, I'll figure out a way to do it. You came out of the gates on an incredible pace, but started to slow around the fifth minute. What slowed you down? Yeah, man, I... Uh, yeah, I came out fast, and then I, I slowed down faster than I would have liked. Uh, my pace, uh, I, I, I tried to adjust, you need to try to chew more, make it easier on my throat to swallow them, but uh, I was just slowing down. And, uh, I don't know if it was the heat or what, or just, uh, I don't know, I, I can't blame, just, I'll figure it out. But uh, I, I still love the con, I, I, I love pushing myself on this stage, and uh, I'll be back. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.